Hey guys, Stoppable here. Today we're going to be going over a few simple ways you can check if your personal PC has a virus. Um, now these steps are going to be a little bit, they're going to be pretty broad, um, but in terms of viruses, uh, having one on a PC is, it's, it's, it's easier in a sense to manage than if you have one on your phone or on your tablet. Um, so these are just some general steps uh, that if you're concerned, uh, if your PC starts running slow out of the blue, if, you download, if you've downloaded a file and you're concerned that it may be effect, uh, infected and it's affecting the performance of your PC, uh, these are just some steps you can take. But uh, let's get into it. So the first step we can take is uh, looking for some applications that are just taking up a lot of your disk space or your memory space. Um, these may be viruses, uh, but it is, it's, it's pretty easy to check. What you want to do is go over to your taskbar and right click until you see task manager. You can left click on that to open it up. And you can see all of your currently running programs. Now, most of them you should be familiar with um, if you're feeling okay about your PC. I've got my I've got malware bytes, um, I've got task manager of course, my browser, and uh, Windows security. And these are just all the background processes that are running even though I don't have them open. And this is where you want to be checking for anything that seems a little bit suspicious. You want to be going down, checking your Windows processes, seeing if there's anything that you don't notice completely that maybe you didn't download or uh, you're unaware of. And if you want to check, actually, there's a very simple way to do so. If you want to, uh, if you want to check on the internet, you can right click and down here it says search online and you can search for that exact program online and see if maybe some other people have the same issue with it or it's, if it's known to be problematic. Um, this is a very simple way to do so. So then again, just go down to anything you want and open up search online. Um, also, another thing you can do is you can head over to your details um, to see exactly what is what you have suspended already. Um, your startup you shouldn't have to worry about. Uh, but your performance too, just checking your CPU and your memory, um, was along with your disk, but that should just be your storage. Um, just checking here to see if there are any spikes um, or just anything out of the ordinary, just check around there. Um, another step is pretty simple as well. You want to be opening up Windows Security, so if you just type in security, it should pop up right here. And you want to be checking that your protection is on, your account protection is on, your firewall is on, all these basic things are on, because these are keeping your PC um, up to date and uh, free from all malware. Um, although Windows Security can be a little bit shaky, it's not the best program. I'd recommend kind of using something like Malwarebytes, which I do have installed. I don't use Windows Security as my main source of uh, online protection. I use Malwarebytes, um, so I will recommend that. Um, but you want to make sure that you are having uh, automatic scans on. As you can see, my last one was a minute five seconds ago, and all the files on my computer were scanned, so no viruses were found, and I'm all set. Uh, you want to make sure that your virus and threat protection settings are up to date. You don't have any updates that need to go through. Um, and down here, you got some ransomware stuff too. But then again, I'd recommend using malware bytes for that kind of stuff, because uh, malware, because uh, ransomware in particular can actually be very dangerous. Um, and I don't quite trust Windows with it. I'm not sure why. I just have some sort of skepticism towards it. Um, but yeah, just you want to make sure that everything is up to date here. And then again, if you wanted to go into your task manager and check more specifics, you can do that as well. Um, checking all your processes. If you want to check too, go down and search online. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you do need some more help, uh, feel free to comment. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We're actually almost close to 2,000 subscribers, uh, which is really amazing. Um, and I love all your guys' support. Uh, I hope you guys stay really safe and healthy during these, uh, whew, these times that appear to be getting better. But um, I hope you all stay safe and uh, have a great rest of your day.